Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we are exploring Final Fantasy VII. We're here in the uh, little flashback sequence. Cloud's gone back to Nibelheim, he's with Sephiroth because they're investigating the uh, malfunctioning Mako reactor, and uh, we've already gone around, talked to everybody in the town, and tried to look through their houses and steal their stuff. But it's just a flash flashback, so I guess we couldn't actually get any items. And um, we also did, uh, we collected a sort of... Oh, okay. We collected a, like, a joke item when we went into Tifa's house, because we got the orthopedic underwear. Um, I guess we can't actually look at that, because it won't let us access the items menu. I, I was just wondering if it would, like, temporarily put it in our inventory while we're in this sequence. But anyway, we have to now head upstairs to go talk to Sephiroth, who is standing and staring at the window. Okay. Anything else around this room? Nope. Of course not. Alright, let's just go talk to him then. What are you looking at? This scenery. It feels like I know this place. Okay. Anything else? We have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep soon. It's still early. Still early. Yeah, let's get some sleep. It's still early. I'm not going to wake you up tomorrow. Yep. Said it's still early because I want to talk to this guy. We're short one bed. Ho <laughs> ho Sounds like... Sounds like you, uh... Blue uniform wearing jerks are gonna have to sleep outside. Alright. Yep. Let's... Get to sleep. What? No, no, fuck. I didn't mean to press that button. Alright, alright, yep. Yeah, let's get some sleep. I've hired a guy to make a reactor. I've heard she's young. I hope you can rely on her. And... Oh, she's not out here. Okay. I was gonna do the big grand uh, reveal. Once the guy gets here, we're heading out. Tifa's father. Listen to me, Sephiroth, in case something happens. Trust me. I'll be alright, Dad. Oh, look, it's Tifa. Oh, whoa, didn't see that coming, oh boy. It's the childhood friend. She's gonna be the guide, and she's wearing a cowboy outfit for some reason. I have two men from Soldier with me. I'm Tifa. Nice to meet ya. Tifa, you're the guide? That's right. It so happens I'm the number one guide in this town. Because we have literally no others. It's too dangerous. I can't get you involved in this. There's no problem if you protect her. Let's go. Oh, okay. Um. Mr. Sephiroth, please let me take one picture for a memento. Tifa, can you ask him for me, too? Cheese. There you go. Great. Thank you. I'll give each of you a copy once I get it developed. A Mako reactor was built... In Mount Nibble. God damn, that's actually a really cool looking scene right there. The cold mountain air of Mount Nibble was the same. I think, um... I can't quite remember, but I think you go into this area in uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, which I played a pretty long time ago, so I don't remember it very well, but, uh, it looks pretty different if I remember correctly. Oh well. <sighs> it gets harder from here, follow me! Okay, sure. Hey, how are you guys holding up? Let's hurry. Okay, sure. 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 Ugh, the bridge! Oh no! <laughs> the 3D models are just kind of hanging and on nothing. Oh, fantastic. Looks great. Okay. Get up, Cloud. Come on. Oh, look, everybody else is fine, too. Everyone seems to be alright. Will we, will we be able to get back? 
These caves are intertwined like a like an ant farm. Oh, and Sephiroth, one person seems to be missing. It may sound cruel, but we've no time to search for him. We can't go back, so we must go on. We'll travel together from here. Aw, oh, shucks. Sephiroth, you big meanie. Here's more stuff for Sephiroth to kill in one hit. For Cloud to be completely ineffective at. Yep. Just like that. We didn't even get to actually command Sephiroth to attack that time. Like we did when we uh, fought the big dragon when we were entering town. Also, I guess I uh, just want to check. Okay. Nope. Still can't do anything. And uh, it's only those two members of the party. Okay. I guess Tifa doesn't really know how to fight yet, but it would have been kind of cool to have the blue soldier dude helping us out. Just for the novelty of it, I guess. Anyway, let's go up here. I think this place is kind of a bit of a maze, if I remember correctly. I, I, I don't know, we'll see, I guess. What's this? A mysteriously colored cave. Yeah, green, what a mystery. It must be the Mako energy. This mountain is especially abundant in it. That's why the Mako reactor was built here. Yep, you don't get green in nature. Naturally. That never happens. Why the fuck can't I go to the left? Yeah, you show him, Cloud. Do that 17 damage and don't kill anything. And Sephiroth also has infinite magic, it seems. It hasn't gone down from 529 yet, and we've gotten into several fights, so that's kind of cool. Why does he even bother showing a number for his magic, then? I don't know. Oh, well. Can we get over here? Yes, we can. Uh, kind of annoying that they would have such frequent um, random battles in an area where it's impossible to actually lose the random battles and you don't gain any actual experience points. I mean, I get. I mean, I understand having to show at least some, because according to the the story, the place is supposed to be overrun with monsters, and that's why they're checking out the Mako reactor. But still, <sighs> oh well. I'm yawning a lot today. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so tired. I guess I didn't sleep well last night. Oh well. And what's this? A Mako Fountain. It's a miracle of nature. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna go stick my face in it. If the Mako Reactor continues to suck up the energy, this fountain will dry up too. Materia. When you condense Mako energy, Materia is produced. It's very rare to see material materia in its natural state. By the way, why is it that when you use materia, you can also use magic too? You were in soldier and didn't even know that. The knowledge and wisdom of the ancients is held in the materia. Anyone with this knowledge can freely use the powers of the land and the planet. That knowledge interacts between ourselves and the planet, calling up magic, or so they say. Magic. A mysterious power. Ha 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 ha. Did I say something funny? A man once told me never to use unscientific terms like mysterious power. It shouldn't even be called magic. I still remember how angry he was. Who was that? Hojo of Shinra Inc. An inexperienced man assigned to take over the work of a great scientist. Oh, Hojo, get fucking lit up. He was a walking mass of complexes. A Mako fountain? So this is where the knowledge of the ancients is. What a random thing to say, Tifa. Oh well. There you go. Look at that pre-rendered background in all its glory. I don't know if I've ever mentioned before but pre-rendered backgrounds are literally the best thing to happen to video games. 
since their inception. Because you get beautiful shit like this. Just bask in it. Bask in it. Alright, anyway. Just go up the stairs. There's nothing else to do. Except watch another dialogue scene, I guess. We finally made it. We sure took the long way, though. Tifa, you wait here. I'm going inside, too. I want to see. Only authorized people are allowed in. This place is full of Shinra's industrial secrets. As if she's going to be able to even understand it. You can't take a completely inexperienced person, have them walk through a power plant, and suddenly they would know how to build their own power plant. But... Take care of the lady. <laughs> mm, man! Oh, she's so frustrated. Better take real good care of me, then. Just do what you're told! You're like, what, 16 years old at this point? Quit whining. Oh god, how do I get down? There you go. Down that. Alrighty. Yep. Couldn't go any faster on that ladder, could you? Cloud. Cloud, old buddy, old friend. Nope. Alright. Hey, look at this! Whoa! Crazy research stuff. Can we examine any of these? Nope. Okay, fine. I guess not. Oh, look! Genova! This is Genova. Yeah, sorry, forgot the voice. This is Genova, right? It won't open. This is the reason for the malfunction. This part is broken. Cloud, close the valve. Okay. Where's the valve, then? Oh, just right in front of it, I guess? Okay, sure. Alright, now what? Why did it break? Now I see, Hojo. But doing this will never put you on the same level as Professor Gast. This is a system that condenses and freezes the Mako energy. That is, when it's working correctly. Now, what does Mako energy become when it's further condensed? Um, um, oh yeah, it becomes materia! Right, normally, but Hojo put something else in there. Take a look. Come on, take a look, Cloud, I'm examining it. Look through the window. Yeah, I'm trying. It's a monster man. Wh what is that? Normal members of Soldier are humans that have been showered with Mako. You're different from the others, but still human. But what are they? They've been exposed to a far higher degree of Mako than you. Is this some kind of monster? Exactly. And it's Hojo of Shinra that produced these monsters. Mutated living organisms produced by Mako Energy. That's what these monsters really are. Normal members of Soldier? You mean you're different? Hey, hey Sephiroth! No. Was I? Was I created this way too? Am I the same as all these monsters? Sephiroth! You saw it. All of them were humans. Human? No way! Ever since I was small, I've felt it. That I was different from the others. Special in some way. But not like this. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have been hitting them. Now they gonna get you. Or not. Maybe it's just gonna die as soon as it walks out. It's possible too. 
entirely possible. Am I human? I didn't really understand what Sephiroth meant then. I was even more surprised that Shinra was producing monsters. Yeah, who could imagine? A greedy corporation with the power to control nature itself? Who doesn't care about the fact that they're destroying the planet? Why would they ever do something like that? Whoa. Damn, Shinra. The more I hear, the more I hate them. Who would have ever thought that Mako Reactor held such a secret? That would seem to explain the increase in the number of monsters recently. Says the person who was mon person mutated into a monster. Yeah. I think we should listen carefully to Cloud. Don't you think so, Barrett? Why are you talking to me? Save game and rest. Oh yeah, save game and rest, guys, so we can tell the story of the morning. Yeah, maybe so. Want to take a breather here? Yeah, eat some cheese and crackers. Have a drink. Relax a bit. Take a break on my throat. Get back into normal condition, you know? Then we'll continue the story. I think that sounds good. <laughs> Tifa. Uh, no, Eris, sorry. Tifa, were you waiting outside then? Yes. We returned to Nibble. We returned to Nibbleheim. Sephiroth confined himself to the inn. He didn't even try to talk to me. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared, right? We found him inside the biggest building in Nibbleheim. The villagers used to call it the Shinra Mansion. Long ago, people from Shinra used to live in that mansion. Here comes Cloud. Oh, what's everybody doing up at the mansion? Oh boy, let's go see. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. And the teacher's there too. Is hanging. What the fuck are you doing here? This is official Shinra business. Y'all motherfuckers stay out. But that's that that mansion belongs to the town. I don't care. I said it's Shinra now. Get out. And stay out. All right, let's look all around. It's probably upstairs, I imagine. I can't remember. It's been forever since I played this friggin' game. So we're just gonna have to explore all around and see. That's what we do. That's what we do all day. All right, and this door over here. Oh, piano. If we play some Moonlight Sonata, open a secret door. I love doing that. If I ever make a video game, I'm literally going to rip that off from Resident Evil and call it an homage. Because that's what I do. <laughs> that's, that's, just, that's just what you do when you make a video game. If you're running low on ideas, just steal something from somebody else and call it an homage. Works great. And now that I've provided video evidence for my blatant theft, uh, you know, somebody can remember this video exists and call me out on it in a few years or whatever. Probably never going to be a game designer, but still, it's worth pointing out. Um, okay, let's talk to you. There's no sign of Sephiroth, but I know I saw him go into this room. Oh, really? Uh, probably, probably your imagination. You're probably a dumbass. Let's go look at the other side of the house first, just in case there's anything interesting over here. Like plants. Look at that. Look at them plants. So green. You can't get green like that in nature. You have to you have to grow your own plants to make them extra green. Oh, it's the fucking it's a fucking bed right in the middle of the room right here. I thought it was a carpet, so I was like I was standing here up against this bed, and I knew this to my left was a bed, and I was trying to move to the right, and I was wondering why it wasn't letting me walk over the carpet. Ugh, okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can get in here. Because it's still the flashback, so yeah, but when we come, hmm, I don't want to spoil it, but basically, okay, we're, I already basically have. When we come back here later in the game, there's a lot of stuff to collect and secret thingamajiggies to do, so, yeah. Oh no, it's a hidden wall, I mean, you have to play in the piano. It just opened up for us, wow. How convenient. 
If only all mansions with hidden secret doors open for you as soon as you stepped in front of them. What's up here? Locked, apparently. That's what's up here. Okay. An apparently dead organism was found in a 2,000-year-old geological stratum. Professor Gast named that organism Genova. X year, X month, X day. Genova confirmed to be an ancient. X year, X month, X day. Genova project approved. The use of Mako Reactor 1 approved for use. So, what you're saying is, we both grew up in Nibelheim, in a way. Oh, he, has, he hasn't seemed to be as hyped about that news as Cloud is. My mother's name is Genova. Genova Project. Is this just a coincidence? Professor Gast, why didn't you tell me anything? Why'd you die? So it's, um, it's kind of funny to point out, because a lot of people seem to base their perception of the characters Cloud and Sephiroth off of the modern interpretation of them, like from the movie Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, or from uh, their appearances in Kingdom Hearts, or in other you know, in other like cameos they do in other games and stuff like that, like the Dissidia games and everything like that. And, um, they're always depicted as, like, the worst versions of them, kind of. Cloud is always, um, you know, always, like, the sort of mopey emo guy. And Sephiroth's always, like, the really quiet, you know, like, cruel killer, basically. Um, but at the start of Final Fantasy VII, or at least not, not, the, not, not at the start of the game, I guess, but early on in Sephiroth's life, he was actually basically a normal person who just wasn't very happy because he was really good at killing, and so he, you know, joined up with Soldier, and he spent his whole life just killing stuff, and nobody would be happy with a life like that, where the only thing you're really good at is killing stuff, you know, well, if you were a psychopath, you might be okay with that and super happy and, and junk, but normal people wouldn't, and Sephiroth, personality-wise, was actually mostly just a normal guy, and it was all a surprise to him to find out that he was a, uh, you know, experiment uh, created by Shinra. Oh, sort of spoiler, because I guess they haven't ac actually confirmed that yet. But, um, and also, later on, uh, Cloud starts off the game as being, like, a very sort of mopey, um, angsty type of character, but as the game progresses, he actually changes and develops and becomes a better person. And it's really a shame that whenever the two of them are depicted in other media, they're always depicted as sort of the most cliché worst versions of themselves. I'm not going to say they're bad. I'm not going to say that Angsty Cloud is just outright a completely unenjoyable character and neither is bad guy, evil villain Sephiroth. But still, there is more to their characters, but most people either just don't know that or forgot it or ignore it because the most common way these two characters are depicted is always in their angsty versions, basically. And I just think that's a shame. Because I think Cloud uh, is a much better character than people give him credit for. A lot of people say he's super overrated because they say that he's just like every other angsty JRPG protagonist ever. And for the beginning of the game, that is true. Um, but it's not so much true for the rest of it, and but nobody really knows that or cares, I guess. So whatever. Anyway, let's talk to him. Continue the scene because we gotta talk. Talk it out, bro. Let me be alone. Okay, sure. I'll just I'll go on ahead. I'll look at the rest of the research data. 
or maybe not. I don't think there's actually any anything in here that we can examine, so maybe never mind. All right. Let's run out then. I think we have to leave at this point, actually. Yep. Sephiroth didn't come out of the Shinra mansion. He continued to read as if he were possessed by something, and not once did the light in the basement go out. Dude was up all night reading. Oh, and Cloud just sat there and waited for him. What a polite friend to to sit around and wait like that. So yeah, now with the ominous music playing and Sephiroth still in the basement, I think we should go check on him, but I, we're going to do that in the next episode because I'm out of time for this one. So hey, I hope you all have enjoyed it. I hope you all will continue to enjoy it. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.